this so i decided to impulsively do a 24-hour readathon it's been so long since i filmed one and made one so i decided that since i haven't been blogging any book like any reading blog to do it starting with magnolia parks the long way home and i only have this much left I'm not gonna spoil anything about this like I'm not gonna get like into the book in like any review or anything but five stars like I know it and I have this much left and I know something like sad and bad is gonna happen and I'm so nervous and I already know what it is because I got spoiled but I'm so nervous literally my heart is pounding so fast and something happened right now and I'm like everything was going so well <laughs> But yeah, that's what you get when you're reading this universe. So I'm currently on page 543. I have less than 50 pages, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna read this and let you know when I'm finished. I'm currently have 23 hours and 11 minutes from the challenge. So we're literally just starting. And yeah, I'm gonna keep reading. I just... What the fuck? I was not expecting that to happen. Like, I knew that was. I mean, I. <laughs> I'm speechless. I am going to, like, highlight the whole page, like, the page number, because I need to go back. But. I wasn't expecting that to happen, like, right now. <sighs> I just finished, re finished reading chapter 75. So, let's see. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Why am I smiling right now? Because something bad could happen again, but <laughs> it was so cute. Chapter 79, I'm scared.
finished. The long way home. This is my review. I will talk about this more at the end of the video because since it's a 24 hour readathon, I want to like take advantage of the whole time and read but I can tell you my rating because I knew it since I started this book and it's a 5 stars. This is my first 5 star book of 2024 and I'm happy about that. <laughs> Guys, wow. What do I choose next? 22 hours and 13 minutes from the challenge because I started this with less than 100 pages to finish and I have my TBR right here in front of me. I have Daisy Hates, which by literally the last page of this one is intriguing me so much to start it, but I don't know. Like, I really want to read it, but... I also like want to get through my TBR. I have Forget Me Not, which is I think an enemy to lavish romance or Grumpy Sunshine, Second Chance. I don't know, Final Gambit, but I'm in the mood of a romance. So <laughs> I also have Heartstopper, which I've been really wanting to read. So this is a huge contender. Era Fire, which I also been wanting to read. And Ignite Me, which I don't want to read right now. Ready or Not, which I really want to read this month. And Bear Town. But I've been hearing that I would cry in Bear Town too. So I think I'm gonna try and start Heartstopper. And I think I could finish this pretty quickly because it's a graphic novel. It says, boy meets boy, boys become friends, boys fall in love. Shy and soft-hearted Charlie Springs sits next to rugby player Nick Nelson in class one morning. A warm and intimate friendship follows and that soon develops into something more for Charlie who doesn't think he has a chance. But Nick but Nick is I I, I sound so sad. <laughs> I'm just gonna like start this. This is so cute. I'm gonna start this one. Heart stopper. Let's see if this one is a happy read. At least the first one. finished Heartstopper, the first volume, and I think I'm gonna jump into the second volume. I love this. I really, really loved it more than I expected it to. I don't know how to rate it though, but I love this. So I'm picking the second volume now, which is also in this month's TBR. Also, timer update. I'm currently, I have 21 hours and 31 minutes left from the challenge, and it's 1.29 a.m. I don't wanna sleep, um, like I'm not tired. So I'm gonna go and read this one. Hey guys, I'm pausing the timer. I finished Heartstopper Volume 2. I have Volume 3, but like it's not on this month's TBR and I want to stick to this month's TBR. So I'm between, I'm between Forget Me Not, Bear Town or Ready or Not. And I'm leaning more towards Forget Me Not or Bear Town because it's already like 2 a.m. Yeah, 2.24 a.m. And I know that these books are on Kindle so I can like turn off lights and start reading on my Kindle because I'm not gonna pull an all-nighter. I'm not reading 24 hours straight, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I can choose these two because I can read on my Kindle when I fall asleep, I fall asleep and will continue tomorrow. So I think that I'm gonna start this one because I'm still in the mood of romance and i have the arc of julie soto's next book so i want to read this first mm, so yeah i think this is gonna be my next read so update it's the next day i fell asleep i think at like 3 something a.m i paused the timer and we have to read for 19 hours and 43 minutes 
and 37 seconds still so i did start forget me not i'm currently on chapter seven and what i've gathered so far of what this book is about we have the two point of views of the female and the male character and she is a wedding planner and he is like a florist he has like a flower shop and some clients reach out for her and one of them results being like an influencer so she has like the opportunity to make her her business like grow because of the exposure she's gonna have with this influencer like choosing her as her wedding planner so she's with that and the bride tells her uh, the only like requirement i have is that i want to use this exact florist and she like mentions is a, a man so she knows that the only like five florists in town only one of them is a man so she knows that it's him when we get to his point of view we go to the past because apparently they have a past together so i don't know like what happened i'm still like figuring out it's still like early i think that they dated so and he's really grumpy and they ended up in bad terms i think so now she's like don't want to like see him but she also wants the opportunity for her business to grow be the wedding planner of that wedding for the exposure and everything so so far so good i listened to like two chapters on audiobook and the audiobook is also good it's on kindle unlimited and i have a physical book so i've been literally hearing it on audio reading here on my kindle and reading it physically so so far so good i'm gonna put the timer on and read for a bit because i I'm really intrigued in where the story is gonna go so let's start Hey guys, so last night I did end up finishing Forget Me Not by Julie Soto and I think I'm gonna give this a 3.75 or a 3.5 I'll come back at the end and let you know my final rating I liked it, but I wasn't like a fan I feel like this book is gonna be one of those books that I enjoyed at the moment but I'm never gonna think back on it this book had the two point of views from the male and the female and in her point of view you have you follow the present timeline where she is planning the wedding and since he's like a florist of the wedding like he appears and they make some decisions together and in his point of view we get their past because they're kind of exes so we followed that when they met and how they were with each other what happened that they ended things that being said I feel like this wasn't crazy for me because I didn't feel the romance I didn't feel the chemistry and the romance I felt like it was more concentrated in her planning the wedding and yeah I didn't like obsess over it I did hear majority of it from the audiobook it's on Spotify I was making my nails and yeah I was like listening to the audiobook so I do recommend the audiobook it's really good but yeah that's all I'm gonna say that's that's all I have to say about this book it's like a perfect palate cleanser and it's always and it's also the perfect fast pastry fast pastry romance tree nothing bad happens nothing sad happens so it's a cute little fun read i think so yeah guys the next book we're gonna be reading is i think i want to start daisy hate should I? Or Bear Town? I'm between those two. I haven't decided. I'm gonna take a break and eat and take a bath and everything and I'll be back with the book that I'm gonna choose. I think we still have like 15 hours left in the timer. Yeah, we have 15 hours, 22 minutes and 3 seconds left in the timer. So we can get two books maybe? Hey guys, I feel like I haven't given you an update in so long or like recorded me reading or anything but so far the last book I started was Ready or Not by Kara Bastone. I've been hearing amazing things about this book, a lot of 5 star ratings, even Infinity Star ratings and I started it. I'm currently on page 213. Yeah, I am this close to DNFing this. I feel like it's not that concentrated in the romance, more in her and her pregnancy. And honestly, I'm bored. And I hate 
to say that about a book, especially one that I've been anticipating to read so much, but I am bored. And every time I try to read it, I get bored. Or every time I say, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna try and finish it, or I'm gonna read for a couple hours, I fell asleep or just keep getting distracted. So I think I'm gonna give this a pause, not a DNF, maybe a soft DNA, DNA. <laughs> a soft dnf or maybe i could like finish the last pages through audio form because i don't want a dnf like not because the romance hasn't even started i'm just gonna pause this that's why i started recording this clip i have 9 hours 32 minutes 57 seconds from the 24 hours and i'm gonna start this book which since it first got here, I was, I'm gonna finish this and jump right into Timing 7. And it, this took me more than I expected. So now I'm finally reading my most anticipated read of the year, Timing 7. This is Claire and Gypsy's book. And yeah, I just know I'm gonna love this one. These pages are so thin that I'm scared of like highlighting or something because I feel I'm gonna ruin it. Yeah, I'm gonna start this one. I'm so excited. Let's start the timer and start. Also, this book is so, so, so floppy. Like, Hey guys, I wanted to give a first impressions update. I'm on page 63. I missed these characters. I missed this universe. I just, I know I'm really early on, but I can tell that it's going to be a five star read because I love it so much. And I'm so sad because I have work today. I had double shift. So I'm gonna be out all day. And this happened to me when I was reading Saving and Retaining Six. I had a lot of work those days. And I was literally at work thinking, I wanna get out to read that book. So that's literally the mood. I haven't even gone to work and I'm already like, I need to go home to read this book. So yeah, that's the update. I'm loving it. I miss Gypsy and now being in Gypsy's head, I'm gonna love him even more. And Claire, she's so sweet, I love her too. And I already like got some Shannon and Johnny's appearances. So when Joey and Aoife come out, I'm literally gonna cry. So yeah, so far loving it. I don't think I'm ever not gonna be loving it because this is the type of book that I wanna cry because I love it so much. But yeah, that's the update. I love this book. chapter 27 so i have more than halfway to like finish the book and time wise i have four hours and 24 minutes with two seconds so hopefully i could finish the book in that time i don't know because like the font is really small and the pages are so thin that i don't even like use a highlighter because i feel like it's gonna bleed through and ruin the book so i'm just like highlighting with a pen i'm gonna be completely honest you know that this is my favorite series of all time i am obsessed with the johnny and shannon's books and joey and Aoife's, and i had so high like the highest hopes for this one because since i started reading the series and i met 
Gypsy in particular. I was obsessed with him. I loved him. I knew that this book was, well, I thought that his book was gonna be the best one and I was gonna be laughing out loud all the time and I was gonna love him and Claire so much. And it's not that I don't love them. It's that I don't feel the way I'm, I felt when I was reading Binding and Keeping 13 or Saving and Redeeming 6. Because with those books, I couldn't stop reading and I couldn't not stop thinking about being back with those characters. And in this one, like, I've been feeling bored at some parts. In the other ones, I never was bored, literally. We could be having the most mundane gauges and I was entertained and I was having the best time ever because I love those books so much but in this one I feel like the plot is kind of all over the place and I wish that we got to see them together more I don't know and I'm not laughing that much as I thought I would because Gypsy is hilarious and this one some conversations I don't like I feel that are kind of maybe boring or cringy I don't know and it's not the whole book it's not that I'm, I'm not enjoying it it's that i don't have the same feeling as i thought i would have like based on the other books so i'm just gonna keep reading i want to finish this one today something changes i'll let you know i'm gonna keep reading something and I'm like I never thought this would happen and what the fuck page 348 so i still have i think like 100 pages to go like 90 something pages to go so i am gonna read for a bit and i think i'm gonna finish the book today well did not finish this one in the 24 hour readathon i need to finish this book guys so i'm gonna keep reading because i'm at a good part and after i finish or maybe when i take a break i'll do like a wrap up of all the books we read in today's video so yeah so far i spoke too soon this book is so good 
I love these characters and mostly because I love this character so much that I could read about them doing nothing and I'm gonna be loving it so yeah I'm gonna keep reading and I'll be back the 24 hours are over so let's talk about the books i attempted to read in this readathon i started with magnolia park so on way home i had just a couple pages to finish the book and i knew that i wanted to like record my reactions so i decided to vlog the final parts of this one this was my first five star read of this year i loved loved this one so much i still think about this book daily and if you haven't started this series please do so because it's so good and it keeps getting better in my opinion so yeah five stars for the long way home i love every single character i loved every second of it the writing was so beautiful and i, I highlighted so much that my highlighter run out of I couldn't write anymore so i love this one five stars and i decided to start the heartstopper series so i read the first two books and i really really liked them and i i actually never thought that i would be reading these books because i wasn't interested in reading like graphic novels but after reading this ones i'm so excited to continue the series i really really enjoyed it i'm gonna give these two like a 4.5 maybe 4.75 not a five star but i love them so much and I can't wait to keep reading their books. I finally have all five of them so I can binge the rest. And then I think I started Forget Me Not and I forgot everything about this book because I don't know. I enjoyed it but I heard most of it through audio. I remember that she was a wedding planner and he was a florist and I remember that it was so concentrating in the wedding that it was like okay I guess but I do recommend it. It's a cute little fun fast paced read. Then I attempted to read Ready or Not and I soft DNF this at page 212. I say soft because I want to go back to it. I don't want to fully DNF it. I was not in the mood for it. It was so concentrated in the pregnancy. This has the existential pregnancy trope. I was not like vibing with that. Maybe not for a challenge. I don't know. But yeah, I want to pick this back up. Maybe in audio form. And then I started my most anticipated read of the year. And I haven't decided in my rating yet. I think it's not a five stars. And I'm so sad about that. But I have to be honest. And like, it's not a five stars. At the beginning, I was loving it. Like the first pages, I was like, yes, this is gonna be a favorite. I love these characters so much. But I don't know. I don't feel like it's a five stars. The Some dialogues were kind of cringy or boring the ending like i wasn't expecting a lot of things that happened in this one loved seeing shannon and johnny they appeared a lot i loved seeing joey and Aoife when they appeared let's see <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna give this like it's between 4.25 or 4.5 stars but i really really liked it the other books are probably made for my favorites saving six is still my favorite but i really loved gipsy i want to give him a hug that's everything i read in today's vlog this readathon took me so long to finish this book put me in a massive slump i just had to dnf it because i was not gonna be able to finish this it took me literally like a week and a couple more days so those were all the books i read in this challenge i really enjoyed it i finally found my first five star read of the year read my most anticipated read of the year and yeah I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.